Okay, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I really do hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video, which is on can Chelsea drop out of the Champions League in the group stages down to the Europa League and into the land of banter? Or do they rally and qualify in the first or second position in the group and then shake off these bad memories of losing 1-0 to Valencia at home. Chelsea's such a mental team at the moment, you have no idea what's going to happen. Chelsea have long been like that. Often they come out on top, so this isn't necessarily going to be a negative video. Anyway, before I start chatting about this kind of stuff, I do want to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you are a newcomer around here. And if you do subscribe, hit the bell notification icon because I do upload every single day and I want newcomers to catch up with the content. And if you want to help your boy out, if you want to help Jan out, <laughs> please like this video. All right then, Chelsea had a poor result against Valencia on match day one in the beginning of their Champions League campaign. Frank Lampard is still without a home win managing Chelsea. I have obviously done a match review on this game and I'd urge you to go check it out. It was the video before this one, but I'm going to talk about the Champions League as a whole now, or certainly the group stages for Chelsea at the moment. Now, I'm sure as all you lot know, if you come fourth in the group, you are screwed. You don't play any more European competitions, and hopefully that won't happen to Chelsea. <laughs> and if you come third, you drop down into the Europa League, which is generally banter. Although Chelsea did win it last season, and that was pretty epic, but still... Just Champions League now, please. By the way, I'm sure you've noticed I've got the new match day training kit, which is pretty dope. <laughs> so anyway, first and second obviously qualifies to get out of the group stages of the Champions League, but Chelsea are in actually quite a difficult group. Certainly in terms of there's no astronomical favourite. Before anyone kicked a ball, the bookies would have made Chelsea favourites for the group. But Chelsea's groups is one of those where three teams really are kind of all in the same boat really in Ajax, Chelsea and Valencia. Chelsea probably just edged themselves as favourites for the bookies before a ball was kicked like I said. Um, obviously they won the Europa League last season and Ajax lost a couple of big players but the truth is Chelsea have been shaky under the new regime. There's a lot of uncertainty and instability and a lot of growth that needs to happen in this Chelsea side so that needs to be taken into account and Ajax are still very very good even after losing Mateus de Ligt and Frankie de Jong they're still very very good side as they demonstrated that when they played against Neil and beat them handily 3-0. Chelsea played at home and lost 1-0 to a side in Valencia who are supposed to be in turmoil. Now again I don't really want to get into that game you can watch my match review if you want to hear me dissect where I think it went wrong in that game but generally that's a really poor start for Chelsea and it's pretty much flipped the group on its head in many ways. Valencia will now really fancy themselves to qualify in this group after getting an away win, three points, into what then would be the hardest fixture of the group. And Ajax have just got a 3-0 win against Lille, so they'll be fancying themselves as well. Suddenly, Chelsea are sweating. Now there's five games left and Chelsea are going to fancy themselves to pick up some points here. But the odds are going to be changing from the bookies from the top two who will qualify through the group stages. I'm sure it's not unheard of now people speculating that Chelsea could be that team that drops down into the Europa League. Now personally, I don't think Chelsea can come forth. I think they can do a job over Lille, they sold Nicola Pepe, and I just don't think they've got the quality to compete with the other three teams in the group, and I think Lille will finish fourth in this group. Valencia have already got three points in what for them is the hardest fixture, or perceived hardest fixture. If they can get anything away in the Johan Cruyff Arena, they will really fancy themselves. And I will just be feeling good about themselves anyway. So Chelsea have a real danger of dropping out of the Champions League into the Europa League, which is terrifying and really the target for Chelsea, probably the minimum target, but was to qualify from the group. And like many people have speculated for Chelsea and indeed Frank Lampard this season, it's a bit of a free hit. But this is by no means a group of death and Chelsea should really qualify from it. Right, so what do I think? Okay, this was a terrible start for Chelsea and a great start for Valencia and a pretty darn good start for Ajax. I don't think Chelsea will win this group, but I do think Chelsea will qualify to get out of the group stages. I think Chelsea are going to come second in this group and I think it will be behind Ajax, but it's going to be 
very, very difficult. What I actually think needs to happen here is Ajax to dominate the group. I think they need to try and do the double over Valencia. I feel like Chelsea need to rely on Ajax now to beat down Valencia a little bit. In the remaining five games, I see Chelsea hopefully getting a win away at Valencia once they've sorted themselves out, which I'll get into in a moment. Hopefully doing the double on Lille and maybe getting four points off Ajax. Yeah. So with all things included, I think Chelsea can come second and qualify. But like I said, they'll have to sort themselves out. They'll have to play better. But they, I think personally, they might need to rely on Ajax doing the business against Valencia and kind of crushing their second place hopes a little bit. And in terms of winning the group now, it would have to be Chelsea winning all their games, really. <laughs> but why am I confident Chelsea will come second? Well, I feel that Frank will learn a lesson from that first match from the formation, but let's remember the most important point here. The most salient point here is Chelsea are incredibly hamstrung with injuries. By the time the remainder of the five group stage games have gone, the Chelsea will be looking like a very different side towards the end. I personally believe Chelsea will be playing a 4-3-3 again with Emerson back at left back and I believe probably by the end of the group stages I have a suspicion Reese James might be playing in that right back spot. Might be a bit early for him but is a chance that he could be. Huge notable returnees like N'Golo Kante and Antonio Rudiger. Chelsea would not have lost to Valencia with those two players in the side. Regardless, I wasn't sure the tactics were right, but just if those two players are there, Chelsea are not losing that game. And in terms of offensive additions as well, Chelsea will hopefully have Mason Mount playing the full 90, or Callum Hudson-Odoi and Ruben Loftus-Cheek in that 11. I actually said in my match review that game against Valencia was crying out for some dynamic players to interchange and play in between the lines and that's basically Callum hudson Adoy and Ruben Loftus-Cheek. So if they're starting in the 11 against say Ajax or the return fixture to Valencia or indeed against Lille at any game, the game is very very different and Chelsea would have that security blanket of Antonio Rudiger and Golo Kante in the side and it's basically much much more solid. I think Chelsea will have to play more direct and down the middle in Europe this season. The wing back system with the cutbacks and crosses didn't seem to work especially when they weren't playing Giroud which I think is kind of peculiar. Um, so they, they will need to have these players back, they will need to play between the lines and they will need to improve. So essentially what I'm alluding to is if Chelsea had this current team that played against Valencia throughout the group stages I think they probably would finish third and drop down into the Europa League but the fact is they're going to learn from this mistake or certainly learn from this experience the returned injured players are going to come back into the side and Chelsea will look like a very very different side with a very very different application and therefore rendering a very very different result. Positive vibes only here in football therapy right? So like I said I am predicting now that Chelsea will finish second in the group behind Ajax. Valencia will finish third in my prediction. They've had a valiant effort certainly at Stamford Bridge and it's frustrating it is as a Chelsea fan to endure a loss at Stamford Bridge. The Valencia fans will be loving that especially after everything that they've gone through with their coach. There's very little fans at Stamford Bridge. I don't know if that's some sort of protest towards um, their board or the, the owners and stuff about you know the, all the controversy of the sacking of the manager. But the team rallied for them and they got the win. So a full strength Chelsea in my opinion should be finishing second in that group and kind of relying on Ajax being the superpower and squashing Valencia because if if they distribute and give up too many points to Valencia and keep Valencia in the game, that win at Stamford Bridge, that three points at Stamford Bridge that Valencia got could be incredibly dangerous to Chelsea and even if Chelsea played pretty well now throughout the group, that can be a very damaging result and it can push Chelsea down to third, which would ultimately push Chelsea down into the Europa League and the banter from the Arsenal and United fans will come in floods and Chelsea will just have to eat it up. So, very, very interesting, very, very difficult but this is the Champions League man any team can turn you over you know look at Liverpool losing to Napoli I'm sure there'll be other shock results in the group stages throughout the earlier stages of the campaign so Champions League baby it's entertaining anyway I want to get your guys thoughts so get down in the comments let me know where you think Chelsea will finish do you think Chelsea still have a chance of finishing first in this group do you agree with me in thinking that 
Chelsea would probably finish second and maybe would have to actually rely on Ajax doing bits against Valencia. What do you reckon? Do you reckon Lille will turn up in any of the games? Let me know. Get down in the comments below and I'll be reading your opinions. Remember guys, you can follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. I'm posting on Instagram quite a lot, so make sure you do follow me at Football Yannick. If you have enjoyed the video, please do like the video and if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Please subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications icon. And if you want to support the channel, you can become a patron or donate to Streamlabs, which is all in the description. Right, everybody, that's it from me. I hope you all do enjoy the football. And yeah, see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby